everyone, it's Sarah Hamer from PinkCricket.com and today we're going to show you how you can make a shaped card using your Lettering Delights files without having to paper piece or anything. So here we go. We're going to go to File Open and we're going to find the SVG that we want to use. And I'm using the retro camera that looks like this. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And there it is. And I'm going to go ahead, and since I know I'm going to be using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper since I'm doing a print and cut and I don't have a bigger printer, I'm going to go ahead and, and set up my page now. The page setup key is this black and red square over here. So I'm going to go ahead and change to 8.5 by 11. Okay. Now that it's like this, and since I'm going to make it into a card, I'm going to want to turn this on its side. So I'm just going to grab it by that little green dot, and I'm going to turn it on its side. Okay, then once I've done that, I'm going to leave it highlighted because I want to duplicate this image for the back of the card because we all know that a card has to have the exact replica but in reverse to make the card fold in half perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this little flower over here, which is the replicate window. And then I'm going to go ahead and I want to mirror right. Since we've moved it, we'll be mirroring to the right. So I'm going to click on this and it makes my card so that it will, when it opens up, it will be facing the same way. So now I don't really want both sides printed. The, bl the back can be blank. So I'm going to leave this part highlighted. Let's highlight this part right here because I'm, I'm picturing the card and how I want it to open. So I'm going to picture th that I'm opening it from this side. So this part will be blank. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to double click and I'm going to click weld. It turns it all blank because all of those pieces are welded together. Okay, now we need to set it up for our printer because basically this is perfect for our card. So let's go ahead and put it on our registration marks. Our registration marks are these three little corner pieces over here. Show registration marks. And I just want to make sure that my image isn't touching any of this gray area because it will mess things up. So. Once it's like that, we're going to go ahead and send it to the printer, okay? So however you need to send it to print your printer, if you have to hook it up to your printer or if you have a Wi-Fi printer. And then once it's printed, then we're ready to cut. So let's look at this image again. We'll highlight the image, and I want to show you how to get the correct cut lines to send it to your silhouette. And we're going to go to the scissors up here. And instead, since it has no cut because it is an SVG, so instead of using the cut portion, we're going to use just the cut edge. And look at that. It's going to cut it out in a card shape. Isn't that fabulous? So I will show you the completed card at the end of this video. But thanks for watching, and have a great day.